Hello, I'm Jenna Nelson, an application specialist here at Blue Marble Geographics, and today I'll be showing you how to rectify your point cloud data to your ground control points in Global Mapper. For this demonstration, I have a point cloud generated from our Pixels to Points tool. This is a photogrammetric derived product, sometimes referred to as a Fodar point cloud. But the rectification um, tool that I'll be showing you will work for LiDAR and other point cloud formats as well. My ground control points are here, symbolized with the red dots. They have an elevation value associated with them. Let's take a closer look at this data. If I zoom in, we'll see a horizontal offset between the targets and the ground control. If you're working with LiDAR data, you might want to color by intensity since you might not have RGB values. Uh, the intensity values are typically more accurate. I'm not working with LiDAR, so I'm going to switch back to RGB. All right, now let's use the path profile tool quickly here to check the vertical alignment of the cloud. All right, so I'll connect a few points here and we're gonna see that there is a significant vertical offset in the path profile. The point cloud is probably in ellipsoidal heights and the ground control in a different system. Ideally, your, your data is in the same system. But in any case, we can perform a three-dimensional rectification of this data. So I'm gonna right click on the layer in the control center and choose the option to rectify. This pops open another dialog where we see um, an overview and then a, uh, the actual point cloud and on the right here, the ground control. This is our reference. So I select a point in the reference side on the right and then I find the corresponding point in the point cloud in that middle view here. After I select the point, click add point to the list. Um, you can name your individual targets if you like. So this process is gonna reference the data to the projection and the datum noted here. To save time in this video, I've actually already tagged all my points and going to load them from a GCP file I saved earlier. So typically you'd go on and you'd tag the rest of your points and add them to the list. Um, I'm gonna go load that file. So saving to a, a GCP file is an option that you have as well. All right, so I load my uh, GCP and now if I zoom out, you'll see that I have all of the ground control points tagged um, to a corresponding point in the point cloud. I wanna quickly mention that having the point cloud displayed here in the reference view can actually be turned on or off. So here under the options menu, if you prefer, you can turn it off. I do like having it on though. Now, for the transformation method, if you wish to ignore the Z values and perform just a horizontal transformation, you can check this box here to ignore Z values. Then you can either let Global Mapper auto select a good transformation option or specify one of these, provided you have the required number of control points. You could then perform the vertical adjustment in the LiDAR QC tool if you wish. But as I'm gonna demonstrate here, you can perform the 3D, 3D transformation all in one step. So you can here check before we do this, the error values of the individual points. So if you want to disable uh, a particular point since it seems like it might not be accurate, you can uncheck it in the list. When you're ready, click OK. The software calculates a best fit 3D affine transformation. And after it processes, we'll see now that our point cloud is aligned vertically to our ground control. And if I zoom in, you can also check that it 
is now aligned horizontally as well to the targets. For further information, check out our website or email us at geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com. Thanks for watching.